more than the bead of the tire. It's amazing. I'm going to push the rubber in and then you might be able to pry it out. Try right here. Try to get underneath it. Oh, you got it? Looks like you got it started. Yep, looks like good. It's a decent mark. I want to drop the air out of the other one to equalize it. Well, you got your, it's independent, right? It'll be, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. I gotta make sure Amy never calls. Or your mom. Oh yeah, you ride it for five seconds and you break it then. Yeah, I might have been there for a while actually. Is this from where your brother rolled it? Yep. I thought he fixed all that. John commented. On what? Tom was asking me if you could fix the rotor. Uh, we were thinking maybe we could have sold it. Yeah. You should probably cross right there at that skinny part, yeah? Do the gas! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go! Yeah, but then you just stop. You don't want to do that, because then you sink. Jump off, come here. Come here, give me, give me a hand. Oh shit. Come on. You want me to get up and, and pull you out? <laughs> you just don't have the technique, baby. You're just like all throttle or nothing, and that's not how you do it. <laughs> what happens when you dropped off into it, you rolled right back into it. Yeah, you, you stop. Yeah. You freaked out. Well, you freaked out, you let go of the throttle, and you went, bloop. Right. All full throttle does is it slips in the mud. You're not going anywhere. You're it's digging cold. a hole. You only want to go as fast as you need to go to move forward when you're going through mud. Throw some zip ties in there for now, man. Just wrap it around the body work. Stop it from vibrating and falling out. All right. What? No, I don't, I don't like going through the mud. That's not my thing. Come on. Dude, I don't care for it. Put your feet up. Am I being dirty? It's okay. I'm a little. I'm a little. I've been doing that. 